three. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. Lunch time with Chawla Saab. I'm making him. He's not had his lunch. It's one forty, and मेरे पे थोड़ा तो पाप चढ़ेगा because I have delayed mm. today's session. No, no, no. Morning prayers uh, and morning course of. Since I'm the house husband, I have to do all the work of the house. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Chawla Saab ke saath, uh, we were discussing. I hope you enjoyed the previous sessions with Chawla Saab. And this is going to continue as long as my health uh, this thing. And I don't get uh, oh, this thing uh, tired of, because of ill health. You know? And because Chawla Saab is far younger than me. What's the same? <laughs> youth, sir. By the way, what's your age, sir, if I may ask, if you don't mind? Sir, I, I'm running 73. I'll be completing 73 in May this year. Okay. Okay, so he's almost the age of most of our fathers, you know, and uh, it's an honor to learn from you. And the best part is he shares his techniques. I'll give you a small example. Many years back, very few people I have seen uh, absolutely dedicated to Patel Sahib's techniques. You know, Charles Sahib is one of them. And uh, quickly, if I may ask, sir, uh, how many times you read his books? If I may ask, approximately. Maybe if you ask me now, I will say 200 times. And if you ask me after an hour, I will say 201 times. Oh, my God. You oh ask me after tomorrow, I will say 210 times. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are a true, true student of astrology and a true, I mean, I, hats off, sir. Hats off. Absolutely hats off. You know, I mean, हमने तो इतना मेहनत नहीं किया जितना आपने किया. I mean, we have worked so hard like you have, sir. I mean, at this age. Sir, आपके पास मेरे पास तो retired man हूँ, sir. मेरे पास एक मेरा passion है, sir. It is a passion. I am following my passion. मेरे को and when it is giving you results, then you follow your passion more vigorously and rigorously. So that is all. So problem is today's generation. Unfortunately, even I have got into that loop. We don't get out of WhatsApp, YouTube, and Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Whereas people like you understand the value of knowledge and time. Yeah. You respect your time, and so you spend your time productively studying, 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 and applying, applying, applying. Anyway, speaking of application, just before the session, okay, I was. Uh, Discussing uh, Prashna methods with Chawla sir, and I was sharing a particular Prashna method, and I wanted him to test it uh, further because I have been uh, not uh, able to devote that time towards that Prashna method, and I usually share my uh, Prashna experiences and methods or this thing with my dear friend Dinesh Tambe, whom you met last time, Chawla sir, yeah. yesterday. yesterday. So the Prashna method usually is, uh, we normally say, although I don't follow that in practice, okay, uh, where Chandra is sitting in the Prashna chart, okay, where Chandra is sitting in the Prashna chart, that house, sign, etc. denotes what is the question in the query's mind, okay. So since we were discussing now much, okay, I, I narrated a story, okay. That the transit, no, it's not necessary. This is the only method. There are many methods, okay? Many astrologers use many, many, many methods to find out what is in the person's mind. As they say, if you, the real test of an astrologer, even K.N. Rao says it, and of course, it's known all over India, except the modern astrologers, they don't follow it. If you go to an astrologer, he has to tell you why you come to It's like going to a Nadi going to an Ayurved guy, okay? He just, and these Ayurved practitioners are very rare. They'll just catch you this thing and they'll say, this is your health issue. If you can't say why somebody has come to you, then it's no use being an astrologer. Okay? Unfortunately, this is Panikam Chai. People very conveniently forget. And it's a very important, it's called Chor Prashna or Mukh Prashna, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, one of the there are many methods. And this is one method I was discussing, which is not used in practice. 
and I was amazed with Chawla Saab's reply. I mean, that shows ki inhone pura amrit le liya hai Patel Saab ke teachings ka. He has taken the absolute essence out of Patel Saab's teaching and an instant he quoted the sloka. Now I'll tell you the technique, guys. Take the position of the Rashi chart, moon of the person, the house and the sign. Correlated, word is correlated. Correlated with that moon's Naumansh position. That moon's Naumansh position correlated. And you would get a fantastic event, okay? And I was quoting today's uh, this thing, Prashna, morning Prashna with Chawla sir. In the morning Prashna at around 7 11, 7th of, sorry, today is 9th of January. Okay. 7 11, 23 seconds. I cast a Prashna. I got a call from the front. <laughs> Moon was in the 8th house in Cancer, Sagittarius Lagoon. In no months, the moon was in third house. In Capricorn. <clears throat> so obviously, the, that's one seven relationship. Okay. But it's okay. Correlation, do it later. But in no months, moon was in third house. Okay. In Capricorn. Okay. So, in Sagittarius, sorry. Inside six eight. So I asked him, "Did you go for the morning walk? And did something happen to you? To your during the walk or to your hands?" So he said, "Bang on!" But I did not go for the morning walk. Okay. And I went outside, and I hurt my hand. And then I called you. It's still bleeding. Banded laga diya, put banded and still bleed. So I requested Chavla sir, okay, sir, you have so many experiences. Just test this out because I haven't tested it aggressively, you know, because I'm always roaming around with so many techniques and not concentrating like him on Guru's techniques, that is Patel Sarsuk. Instantly Chavla sir replies. She quotes the shloka from Prashna Mark, which Patel sir has written about. Sir, please, now it's all, the ball game is yours. So when uh... Suniji asked me this thing. I said, you are wonderful, but validation of this thing, I'll give you. But yes, I've written. So once you give a validation to a certain technique, then you are sure it is going, it is, it is, I'm on a right path. So validation, I said, it is already mentioned in Patel Sahib's book, significance of Chandra Namash Rashi. Significance of Chandra Namash Rashi. He writes on page 66 of his book, Namash in Nadia Astrology. One simple technique is the simplest technique of simplest technique of Prashna. Swami quotes from Prashan Mark, part 1, chapter 8, verses 36 to 67. Dr. B.V. Raman's Prashan Mark, the big two big books, two parts, I think. So, he says, if Chandra Namash Rashi in Netta Chat, so you are to take position of Chandra Namash Rashi and place it in the Rashi chart. That position, if it is associated with good planets, good period ahead, and indicated, and if Rashi is afflicted, then a bad future is going to set in. But since the thing has already happened, now play beyond. What has been stated? Author says something. Then we have to take meaning out of it. So we take the degrees of Navaj, degrees of moon. And see, it has left which planet? It is, it is, it has left, after me meeting which planet it has left, the results of that are expected. Moon is a postman. Always in a horoscope, moon is a postman. He is a delivering man. He is a delivering child. He delivers the thing. Created by the postman, simply letters written by anybody. He is a man. He comes and knocks on your door and takes, gives you your letter, your dessert. So, Moon is a postman. So, he tells. So, simply, technique is place the Moon 
ask Namaj in the Rashi chart and see his association, good or bad aspects, and tell what would happen to whatever is the problem. And if you want to see, see the problem, see which planet he has left the degree. Suppose moon in Namash is 18 degrees, see at 17 degrees, which planet is there and 17 degrees, then, then you say what are the positions held by that planet, the Mercury or whatever it is. So you can say, I remember now I have left uh, this thing. People, I was trying, when people used to come, I, somebody is waiting, I used to write, this questions would be like this. Uh, the questions is, likely questions would be like this. And sometimes I used to say, I remember I was going to uh, Sunilji, I was going to Japan. Mm, I, I tell you the story later on this uh, astrology purposes. I, I went to Japan around for 14 times. So I remember I said, did you get, did you get whatever you have come to me for? And she said, sir, I was driving car for so many uh, miles. Uh, so I was thinking I'll ask Tavlas of this question, this question, this question. And without my asking, without my asking any questions, you replied all my questions. I quote a single incident which doesn't leave my this thing. So this is a very, very interesting uh, story I am telling you. In Japan, it is through interpreter. Mm -hmm. So a couple had come to me. Uh, I said they were with me for about half an hour. I asked my interpreter, I asked them if they want to ask about their child or not. They didn't ask. I said, please ask. They want to ask about the child or not. Oh, he said, the lady said, yes, yes, we have been married for five years and there is no issue. I said, I look at the horoscope, whatever came in my mind, I said, you light incense in front of Lord Ganesha. That's all. Because this thing was to happen to her. I was simply a messenger of God, simply a messenger of God, and it was I either it was either June or December. We were, and next time when I went there, she was six months pregnant. Wow! Thing wow. was thing was to happen to her. I didn't give the child. God gave the child. But this is the beauty of astrology. When God is to give you something. They will show, they will they will make me to say that thing to him. And then there's astrology. So Thank moon you. position is very, very important in Namash. And I have validated your uh, statement the, of Namash moon position. And it's whole book, Patel Sahab has written in one place. And this is the place where I have validated. Sandar, it's been 20 years since I read Patel Sahab's book. That is now you inspire me to keep on reading it every day. <laughs> it's better, you know. I always say to, to all our students, you know, uh, don't try to master everything. Take one thing and marry. It's like marriage. Yeah. Take a yeah. technique, marry with it. You know, eat, sleep, breathe, everything. Twenty-four hours. That technique. yes, that is what it is. So speaking of nomads, you've been talking about nomads so much. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is your take on Naumash progression? Sir, it is now it has become my lifeline. Lifeline. Now, people talk of progression. What is, uh, sir, uh, Vim Chotri Dasha or any Dasha? It is a progression only. It is a progression. But tell Saab, at one point, the, uh, even full years of uh, one's life, you yesterday you mentioned um, uh, about even full years of uh, one's life, in five methods is told. I repeatedly mastered it, but it is difficult. If a horoscope comes to you, you um, take time to make all those things. You take time, it may take half an hour, one hour. 
सर विद दी ब्लेसिंग ऑफ पटेल साहब इट इज नाउ अवेलेबल एट ए क्लिक ऑफ ए बटन ऑल द फाइव मैथ एंड यू कैन नो यूर हाउ यूर न्यू ईयर हाउ यूर कमिंग ईयर फिफ्टी ईयर आर फिफ्टी फर्स्ट ईयर वुड बी फॉर यू largely largely it you can see it largely you can see it all the five methods and if patel sahab had not written this five method not explained on his horoscope it was difficult for me to make it now it is gift of uh, corona to us i was making and i was Look, making a program like why, sh how should I do it, so that at the beginning of the year, things should be on my platter, whether Jupiter is coming, touching ascendant, or Jupiter is touching which planet, which uh, one Navash every year, or which method, all the five methods. I have made seven or eight methods. So, Patel Sahab theory is the best, and it is Navash progression is my lifeline now. i have done uh, my works on number of progressions nadi progression or other progressions i have done so many works on all are available now i given to my students i given to my students free of cost but i tell them please do some charity in our mission that bharat ke veer our prime minister care prime minister care the prime minister national level our government fund Uh, time will show you any time both india uh, i said and uh, we did a work on corona if i see india chart and see the 76 year it is running only jupiter is affecting this thing so we should not worry at all one to say one single word is jupiter is touching ascendant or it is in trine so no malefic planet is touching so this year 76 year people are fearing from corona they should not worry at all this jupiter aspect is there okay okay within, so, within split of a second i can show you within no time matlab you tell me i will show you no time this is this i you want to see why yes. why jupiter ha huh? okay yes. ओके okay. मैं दिखाता हूं आई शेयर द स्क्रीन सर you are talking of a particular date chosen date will it comes to today's date right what are there are five methods here if you have read patel sahab's book and if you remember the eventful years of this thing one is planet to ascend it not applicable in this year it is which year this is today's one view i'll say elapsed years are 75 years 4 months and 25 days india from the date of this thing then second is ascendant to planet not applicable numerical navash not applicable and we come further fourth method written our fourth method now ascendant navash to rashi navash not applicable navash of planet to navash of moon this is applicable jupiter in 76 year from 15 to 8 22 to 15 8 23 only one benefic planet is only one benefic planet is reaching that point crucial point patel sahab has told so when benign aspect of jupiter is there india chart this year is going to be wonderful one patel sahab method sir it is a boon it is a blessing given to uh, people by patel sahab uh, five methods explained at the beginning of the year you see what what are all happening then you go to this thing 
check what is it so jupiter benign aspect would be available to us in the fifth method and from august 22 to august 23 why we should be worrying about anything corona or anything else all right all right sir one simple method click of a button this is a, this is the blessings of putters up to you progress this is progression only this is progression method All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I have, we have done up to day level. From here, we have done up to day level. This is progression, various progression for our progress. D one. This is a my uh, potential sub gift to me. So I, we have invented further. This is progress D nine. How one Navash per year it progresses. So after I mean twenty five years, ah, uh, uh, thirteen years. No, it will be same position. It will repeat. So even up to day level, we have worked, and we are up to how and where would be day position. This is month position. This is year position. All such things are there. This is Rashi chart, and what are significant Rashi and Vajra? This is my dream. This is a blessing. This is the ultimate. I would say till now. One one more question and let me go to basics and uh, uh, you know ask a question, sir. If you can uh, stop the screen sharing, yes, thank you, sir. Uh, many young ones always keep on writing questions. What is dispositor theory? How to use it? You know, so it's fundamental basics. If you can explain it to them, sir. Sir, dispositor theory. Patel Sahab has mentioned. Jane Basile's name in this positive theory, and he is. And if we miss that disposition, I think we reach nowhere. Our position may may come correct, may come correct. With disposition theory, everything is going to be correct. Planet gives. I come to your house, Suniji. You are my host. You are my mezban. If we are friends, if we are friends, you will treat me well. Are there exchange of you are staying in Mumbai in my house and I am staying in Delhi in your house? We have house of tea. That is again complete disposition. We may not be even friends. Even people say six six position is bad. That if there is exchange, there is a Keep available to us. Two twelve people say that. I said, please see the disposition. If there is a chain, two twelve may not be bad at all. Six eight position may not be bad at all. In, um, uh, in medical, when even if there is a um, six eight position, so remedial measure is available. Even a heart valve is required. It will be replaced. If there is six eight position, there is no chain. They are in a bad shape. They may they may not be uh, operations or other things, but if the leg is amputated, you get a second leg, artificial leg. So process you will uh, you get that is exchange, even a sixth stage position. So dispositor and golden rule on disposition. I will not expand it further here. It is for the lovers of astrology, lovers of astrology to give a thought to this. Ki I say, like you say, uh, uh, in any horoscope, any horoscope, uh, you say no planet is in sun nakshatra. Means sun is competent to give results on its own for himself because no there are no children dependent on sun. When an event happens, written nowhere. When an event happens, planets would be self requisite. Planets would be self contained. And don't stretch me further on this point. I give you a food for thought, and we go ahead. We will not speak on more on this.
Without this, no plan, no, nothing, no, no event would occur. Well, we're going to continue this series. This is part two of the interview sessions, and uh, uh, we're going to be continuing this. But uh, before we wind up for today, okay, I would like to stress upon a point, and that comes with maturity to the audience. When we are young in astrology, okay, when we enter or we want to enter into astrology, all of us want to no doubt become the best predictor in the world. Some of us want to work hard and people do, astrologers do work hard for it. But astrology comes with a curse, like any other educative science or any edu education branch, you know. The more you're educated, okay, you start feeling you're above God, okay, or your, your, your ego rises, you know. And when, especially when it comes to astrology, where you are predicting what God has written, you know, Sometimes, or most of the times that happens to us is we go beyond the mandate that we are just an instrument, interpreter. We start thinking we know everything that God this thing. We giving opais, giving remedies, we change people's fortune, we think. We think like that. Okay. And it does happen to me. It has happened to me. It has happened to millions of astrologers. Okay. My mentor always says the day ego comes in you because of astrology, that means the blessings of gods have slowly started reducing. So he says this and I have observed this. I have myself faltered many a times when I am right in my predictions or in my techniques or my researches. ego You know, so Keep it check, keep it. Check. And why I'm saying this in this session is you have in front of you a very senior astrologer, you know, who is still so humble and so nice and so giving. The biggest problem with astrologers is they it's a one-way street for astrologers. They want somebody to give it to them. They want all the senior astrologers or all the rare astrologers to give techniques to them, but they don't want to share it. And when these senior and rare astrologers don't share technique openly, we go and we backbite about them. But same, in the same moment, the other junior fellow is with us in that trip to meet the senior astrologer. Okay, That junior astrologer keeps on asking me or us about some techniques, but we don't give it out openly. This is the double dichotomy. It is like we are having two sides of a coin, good and bad and ugly, you know, or three sides. So I leave this with a food of thought. The exercise that I follow is to keep a rain check, regular rain check on yourself. Regularly remind yourself that we know nothing and I'm going to be open to learn and learn and learn. Okay, And that learning happens when we work hard in being receptive. So keep on testing, you, even if you don't learn a technique from Chavala Sahib, okay? But if you learn humbleness, you learn the way how to approach the science. How to approach the science, you know? He has that flavor of Chavala, uh, Chavala Sahib, has that flavor of Patel Sahib, where shloka is the key. And he keeps on saying, you know, interpret the shloka. You know, uspe chintan kari. Think, 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 think on the shloka. So, thank you so much, Chavala Sahib. We're going to continue this. I, I add to your this. We never, never, ever demonstrate astrology. If you demonstrate astrology, you would be miserably failing in your mission. If you want to demonstrate, you will be failing in your mission. Please, your humbleness is your key to astrology. Great advice, good sir. We, most of us, commit this mistake of demonstrating astrology. Astrology doesn't need to be demonstrated is how I will end it. Astrology is self-contained. Like God, it is self-contained. God doesn't need to demonstrate it himself. Yeah. He's omnipresent. So is astrology. Because astrology is God's own DNA plan. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. I bow to Chala Sahib. Thank yeah. you so much. My pleasure, my pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Thank you very much.
आई विल सी यू अगेन टुमारो एट इलेवन थर्टी सर 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 थैंक यू वेरी मच गॉड ब्लेस यू प्रणाम गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल